In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this evening's prayer service. We shall begin this vigil service with a salutation of Angel to Mother Mary. The angel of God declared unto Mary, and she gave her heart, her soul, her yes. And she conceived of the Holy Spirit, and the angel sang.
city of Mary, celebrated on the 8th of September, is closely connected with the Immaculate Conception of Mary. She who is prepared by Divine Providence to be the Mother of Jesus, the Son of God, is conceived in the womb of her mother, Anna, her father, being Joachim, without his stain of sin, and her birth is considered by the Catholic Church as a solemn event. Our Lady's birthday has been described as the hope of the entire world and the dawn of salvation. That is why the liturgy of the day says, let us celebrate with joy the birth of the Virgin Mary, of who was born the son of justice. Her birth constitutes the hope and the light of salvation for the whole world. Her image is light for the whole Christian people. St. Augustine connects Mary's birth with Jesus' as saving work. He tells the earth to rejoice and shine forth in the light of her birth. The feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary probably originated after the Council of Ephesus in 431, which established her right to the title of Mother of God. Because of her importance in the salvation history, Mary's birthday is celebrated as well as that of her son, Jesus the Lord. We are privileged to welcome Saints and Joachim, bringing their precious daughter for our epiphany. Today, the gift of life 
you gave Mary. Honor we as her daughters cannot be behind in expressing our happiness and joy to celebrate her birthday. That's the reason we are gathered here today to greet our Heavenly Mother. According to the Indian tradition, we greet people with flowers. Hence, we now come forward with flowers to greet Mother Mary a happy birthday. the 
ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life and the man became a living being. This was also true of the first woman as God removed part of man's body and the rib that the Lord God had taken from the man he made into a woman and brought her to the man. Moreover, it is true of each and every human being since the original creation as God is intimately involved in fashioning human life from the moment of conception. As David extols God in a psalm, For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Human beings are created holistically so that in this earthly existence, soul and body are in inseparable unity. Indeed, being made in the image of God entails the embodiment of the image bearers. Human embodiment then is according to divine design. Accordingly, people should embrace embodiment as a gift from God. As, as Mary is the embodiment of creation, let us honor her with Pushparadi.
8th September is the birthday of our beloved Mother Mary. The church in India dedicates this day to the girl child. Where would we be without Mother Mary? Where would we be if our mother was not allowed to be born? Every girl is a precious gift. She is born in the image and likeness of God, equal in dignity as much as a boy. However, we live in a culture where sons are preferred over daughters. The elimination, discrimination and atrocities meted out to girl children must be condemned as such crimes disfigure the image and likeness of God in human persons. Empowering girls recognizing their potentials bring changes in the world. During this prayer, we remember all those millions of missing girls who were murdered before and after their birth. We thank God for every girl child in our family, neighborhood, parishes, institutions and society. Jesus, 
forgive us for our indifference in the face of imbalanced sex ratio caused by brutal murders of girl children lord heal us of our, our indifference and, and challenge us to be your messengers of justice jesus forgive us for our insensitivity towards the increasing crime against children and women that we witness daily lord lord heal us, us of our insensitivity and challenge us to be your messengers of hope jesus forgive us for our lack of courage to stand for the dignity and rights of children lord, lord heal us of our fears and challenge us to be your messengers of life let us be the instruments of change to give each girl the dignity she deserves especially the right to live Saint Paul reminds in the letter to the Romans regarding our duty towards creation which is groaning let us listen to it A reading from the letter of Saint Paul to the Romans For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God For the creation was subjected to futility not of its own will but by the will of the one who subjected it in him that the, that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God we know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now and not only the creation but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit groan inwardly while we wait for adoption the redemption of our bodies the word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god, god. we are in the celebration of the fifth anniversary of laudato si today the creation is groaning as the exploitation and abuse of the earth is exceedingly great mother mary who protected her son from all odds and taught him the values of life become an inspiration for us if only we have a motherly attitude of caring towards the nature the world will become a better place to live today as we celebrate her birthday let us pray that the caring attitude of mother mary be in each one of us to commit ourselves for the care of creation
in the ages past and in modern times many great as well as ordinary people sang or said the praises of many we shall listen to some of them Pope Paul the 6th says The blessed mother of God the new Eve mother of the church continues in heaven her maternal role with regard to Christ's members cooperating with the birth and growth of divine life in the souls of the redeemed Pope Francis says It's absolutely true that Mary never requested any titles or privileges for herself. She never asked to be called the mother of God or queen of heaven. But the church honors her with these titles in her teaching and in her prayers. Mother Teresa of Calcutta says If you ever feel distressed during your day call upon our lady just say the simple prayer Mary mother of Jesus please be a mother to me now Never be afraid of loving the blessed virgin too much you can never love her more than Jesus did says Saint Maximilian Kolbe If you invoke the blessed virgin when you are tempted she will come at once to your help and satan will leave you says saint john mary bian What a joy to remember that she is a mother since she loves us and knows our weakness what have we to fear says Saint Teresa of Lisieux Padre Pio says always stay close to this heavenly mother because she is the sea to be crossed to reach the shores of eternal splendor A Don Bosco our founder is here to give his message on mother mary mother mary is really here but she is here to come our lady is walking in this house and power me with her mother a co-foundress maria mazzarello Let us give thanks to God our Father who in the virgin Mary has given us the image and beginning of the church she is our model and guide in all that we do and a powerful intercessor on our behalf to her son and so let us pray a response Lord, Lord may your mother pray for us. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Father, we pray for Pope Francis, all bishops, priests and religious that after the example of Mary, they may truly understand the cost of discipleship 
and give themselves generously for the growth of the poor and work for the kingdom of God. Let us pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. We pray for the poor who suffer due to structural sins and crimes like corruption, bribe, exploitation and social evils like racism, ethnic conflict, religious discrimination, that Mary our mother may inspire the minds and hearts of our political leaders to work for the well-being of their fellow countrymen and build up a just society. Let us pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. We pray for our mother general and her council, our provincial and each sister of our province and the members of the Salvation family that Mary our mother may bless each one of us with the graces necessary to work for the human and Christian education of the young, especially the poor and marginalized. Let us pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. We pray for all the young people, especially girl children who are struggling to cope up with the pandemic situation and face the present day challenges and through the intercession of Mary obtain the virtues of patience and tolerance and make the best use of the opportunities they have to build, to be good and honest citizens of the society. Let us pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. We pray for who are suffering in one way or the other, especially due to coronavirus, that may your mother intercede on our behalf and eradicate this pandemic from the face of the earth and that people may live as responsible stewards, protecting and respecting the creation of God. Let us pray. Lord, Lord may your mother pray for us. We pray for each one of us that as we celebrate the feast of the nativity of our Blessed Mother, we may always imitate her virtues of faith, hope, charity and her perfect union with God so that we may be signs and bearers of God's love to all those who are with us and around us. Let us pray. Lord, may your mother pray for us. Lord our God, the day of our salvation dawned when the Blessed Virgin gave birth to your Son. As we celebrate her nativity, grant us your grace and your peace. May this beautiful feast of the nativity of our Blessed Mother help us to live her attitudes so that we may be builders and promoters of your kingdom values wherever we are. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Day two.